Welcome to Fireside Storytime. Make yourself comfy, then we can start. Today's story is The Knot Fairy, written by Bobby Hinman and illustrated by Christy Bridgman. Do you believe in fairies who live in a magical space? Lots of cute fairies with bright coloured wings may be hiding all over the place. Now, I don't know if this is true. It was told to me, and I'll tell it to you. It's about a fairy with knots in her hair. She visits children everywhere. She carries a lantern and a little blue book. She's in her pyjamas. Come, let's take a look. When evening comes and you turn off the light, it's time to climb into bed for the night. Your teeth are sparkling, your hair is brushed, and all through the house is a quiet hush. But while you're sleeping, here's a funny thing. A tiny fairy with purple wings flies into your room and heads for your bed. She flaps her wings and lands right on your head. Now, here's a secret that I will share. She just likes to tangle your hair. She ties little knots one after another, then flitters away to your sister or brother. And when she's all through, as quiet as a mouse, she flaps her wings and leaves your house. She visits most all little boys and girls whether their hair is straight or full of curls. So if your hair goes this way and that, and you're thinking of hiding it under a hat, just look in the mirror and shout with glee. It looks like the Knot Fairy visited me. That's a lovely story, isn't it? answers that question we've all asked ourselves how come when I've brushed my hair before I go to bed I wake up and it's full of knots that's the answer it's the knot fairy our first puzzle is using four pictures of fairies from the book we've got um, on the left hand side we've got the knot fairy um, and then there's a little boy fairy and comes the sock fairy we had his book on the channel recently and then there's another little fairy in a very pretty pink dress. So we've got four fairies lined across the top. And then underneath we have their shadows. And we want to try and match the fairy to their right shadow. So I think we're going to start with the one on the right hand side. Pretty pink fairy. So yes, now does that shadow look right? She sort of covered it all up, but this doesn't look right, does it? Let's try another one. No, that one doesn't look right either, does it? There's lots of bits of black showing. There, now, there's no black showing at all, so that means it's her shadow, because it fits completely. So that's good. Now, I think we're going to try the next fairy, which is going to be the sock fairy. This sock on the back of his head. Now, does he fit there? It's sort of right, but not quite, is it? So, No, that's definitely not right. So we'll pop him on to the end. Yeah, perfect fit. Right, now we've got this other little boy fairy. So we'll try him. Is that right? No, it's not, is it? Let's move him across. That's better. That's a perfect fit. And so now we've got our knot fairy with her lantern. And we'll pop her down. Yeah, beautifully drawn fairies, aren't they? And our second puzzle is a jigsaw puzzle. And we're using this picture from the book with all the children on the jungle gym. Okay, so it's our usual. 12 pieces, so that's three rows 
with four pieces in each and we'll start with the corner piece. The corner has two straight edges. There we are, here's our first one. We're going to go up to the right. Somebody's knee there. And our second corner piece, that's bottom left. Bottom left. And our third corner piece. That's making the other side of the jungle gym. Okay, one more to find with two straight edges. There it is. Bottom right. Right, now we're looking for pieces with one straight edge to make up the shape of the puzzle. There we go. Oh, that's the little girl's hair as she's swinging on the swing. Got lovely long hair, full of knots. I wonder where they came from. And that's a little boy swinging on the rings up on the top of the jungle gym. That's good. Uh, four more to find. Oh, that's his other hand swinging. And another knee. going to go next. Well that's the piece on the side. There's a little girl standing there. Yeah. And two for the bottom. Yeah. Slide that one across so it fits. Good. One more straight edge. That's it. Good. Now two more in the middle to finish the puzzle. That's the little boy who's swinging upside down. That's his head. And I think that's a little cat, isn't it? And one more piece. That'll be the legs of the girl in the swing. There we are. enjoyed that story. There's a series of fairy stories. We had the sock fairy on the channel recently and now we've had the knot fairy. So if you liked the jigsaw puzzle it's made using an app and I'll put the link to that in the description box. Hope you enjoyed matching the sh fairies to their shadows and hopefully we'll see you again soon.